I'm back. I have been plugging away all day at your questions and your stories. Keep them coming. I love it. I love all the support that you're giving me. Thank you so much. Keep them coming. Send those emails and those questions to Bridget at celebrationsofloveevents.com. All right. So this next question that I'm going to read, um, it really, really, really teaches all about compromise. Okay. It's all about taking what you like and taking what he likes and putting it all together to become one. That's what marriage is all about, the two becoming one, okay? So this whole thing is about coming together, all right? And it reads, hey, Bridget, I have been dating a guy for six months now. We have talked about marriage often. I could really see myself marrying this guy someday, but I have a dilemma. Well, it's not really a dilemma, but I need to make up my mind. I have always longed to get married in Hawaii on the beach, and he's not opposed to it, but he would rather have a traditional church wedding here at home so that all of our friends and family can attend. Do I have that dream wedding on the beach in Hawaii that I've always dreamed of, or should I have a wedding here at home? What are your thoughts? Signs, going to marry that boy someday. All right, here is my suggestion. Have the both best have the best of both worlds. Go to Hawaii, take your best friends, go and have that white sandy beach wedding, and then come on back home and have the church wedding so you're flowing down the aisle in that beautiful white curly dress and you've got everybody saying cheese and smile and do all that. Do it. Have the best of both worlds. This is what it's all about. Taking the two things and blending them as one, okay? So it really does look like you've had your wedding here over in Hawaii, and then you come home and have a traditional reception. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it your reception, okay? Do it. Have the best of both worlds. Enjoy. Love on each other and just do it, all right? That's my suggestion. Those are my thoughts. Keep on sending those emails and those questions to Bridget at celebrationsofloveevents.com. And until next time, celebrate the ones you love.